received the initial call from Driscoll Children's on August 24th, about 11.30 in the morning. The day that we got the call for um, Driscoll, it was pretty much a normal day on transport. We had just finished transporting another patient and um, we were alerted that uh, we needed to go for um, evacuation. The weather was scheduled to deteriorate due to the hurricane about one o'clock in the morning. So we had to, to get in and get the patient and then be out by one or so. We had a roughly 18 hour period of time. And during that time, there were seven um, air medical missions. So we started to mobilize our team. I was able to call um, some of my colleagues at other air medical programs to ask them for help. And so without any hesitation, um, they brought their teams and their planes and, and we went to Corpus. But once they were on the ground about 5.30 in the morning, I think we all breathed a sigh of relief that everybody was out safely and back home. You know, we don't want bad situations to happen like hurricanes, but it's what we train for, it's what we do. We love helping people and helping our little patients. To know that I helped uh, bring um, a baby back safely and that the parents were trusting of us to do that, it feels good. In the 30 years I've been flying for Cook Children's, these are some of the most rewarding flights I've been on. You know, we prepare all year long for the sickest babies and the sickest pediatric patients, and you don't want to have to go pick up anybody sick, but we're here if they need them. And so we always say, you know, if you need us, 1-800-KID-HURT, we're just a phone call away. So it doesn't matter where that patient is or what they need, we're available to go help.